found out I was pregnant in November, um, in going into the school year. And then up until even the last few weeks of school, I was like super far along. I only had three weeks left to go, four weeks left to go. And I ended up having quite a few doctor's appointments and everything else. And the staff really stood behind me and made sure that um, I was supported. If it was just covering one class, if it was covering the afternoon, I never had to, to go to a doctor's appointment and feel worried about whether or not my class was going to be covered or whether or not uh, my kids were going to be getting still a lesson during that time. And my blood pressure went up really, really high. So it was one of those things where I was having to go in two times a week to the doctor and get my blood pressure checked and things along those lines. So the nurse was really staying on me to take care of myself. Every time I walked by her office, she was like, come here, come here, come in here. You need to, you know, I need to check you. I need to check your blood pressure. I actually had people come in and check in on me even after I'd gone into the hospital. I actually went in early and I had multiple teachers and that same nurse came in and stopped by just to make sure that I was okay. And that was really a blessing to me because, you know, they don't have to do that. You know, you work in a lot of work environments. I actually am alternative certified and I worked in corporate retail management for a really, really long time. And you don't get that same environment. You don't feel like it's family. And I really feel like uh, with Arlington and especially with Nichols, we're like a family. This is my fourth baby that I've had and I've never had that type of support system. I mean, I've never had people come and visit me at the hospital or make sure that I'm okay or throwing a baby shower or getting baby gifts or anything like that. And that's, it's not about the gifts. It's just about the support that you feel and feeling like, you know, people actually care genuinely about your well being. It makes me feel like I'm valued. So, my newest baby is Grayson Gage Griffin, and he was born June 7th at 2.22 a.m., but he was three weeks early, kind of had an emergency C section. They almost lost me. So I'm grateful to be alive, grateful to be here, grateful to be with Arlington, grateful to be with my family. The first one is, is Tina Jones, is the head of the seventh grade math department. She's definitely helped to support me. Miss Kreiner, Shalina Kreiner, I definitely appreciate you. Thank you so much for helping me to develop. Also Coach Debbie Shepard, uh, she actually helped pack up my classroom because I had to miss the very last day. Uh, thank you so much Coach Shepard, I really appreciate you. And then our nurse, uh, Miss Ellis, she de definitely helped to support me and make sure that I was taken care of. Uh, also Terry Acosta is our attendance uh, clerk who made sure that I was covered and just the entire Nichols staff. I appreciate you guys making me feel like I'm part of more of a family than a teaching staff, um, more of a family than a job, and, and definitely valued. I really appreciate all of you, each and every one of you.